Next to six, a violent crash caught on camera. A tow truck driver finding himself in the crosshairs of an out of control driver. Take a look. <laughs> Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live right now with where this happened and what that tow truck driver is saying tonight. Kim? Well, and Carolyn, Fred Kennedy of LIJBS Towing is lucky to be alive. Take a look behind me here. He was putting one crash vehicle onto this flatbed when another driver lost control and he had a split second to run. Every day you got to go out there like it's your last. Fred Kennedy is the tow truck driver in this video and he's about to have a brush with death in three, two, one. I seen the car losing control. Once I seen it, I stepped back. After that, I had to run. Michigan State Police say the driver who ended up on top of the tow truck was going too fast for the icy road conditions Wednesday morning as he was traveling on the ramp from the Southfield Freeway to 96 where a trooper was already handling another crash. Did it look like he was going too fast for the for the ramp there? He was going way too fast to go in the air. I just know I was trying to get control of the car as much as I could. Um, and that's when I noticed I was on top of the tow truck. Michigan State Police cited Gerald Marshall for going too fast and not slowing down while passing an emergency vehicle. But when we caught up with Marshall at the tow yard where he came to pick up his car, he claims there was nothing he could do. Do you think you were going too fast though? No, I wasn't going too fast at all. I was actually doing less than the speed limit. It was actually black ice and me hitting my brake made it lose control. For some reason, uh, personal responsibility goes out the window during winter time where people drive down there and they think they can still go as fast as they want and if their car happens to uh, spin out or wreck, it, it couldn't be their fault is a lot of their mindsets. What did that other driver do? What did he say? What did he, got he didn't get out and say anything. He came to us while we were standing there asking for a light. He didn't apologize, no remorse, nothing. I actually saw the video and I said, oh my God, you know, I can't believe I was close to that gentleman. Um, you know, I apologized to him. Like I said, this was something I didn't have control of. I was trying to get control. I didn't see him. I didn't, all I saw was it was cars on the side from a previous accident. It was five accidents on that slope. And Michigan State Police and tow truck drivers say this is why it is so important to slow down and get over to give them a lane because Fred Kennedy could have also been hit by a passing car while trying to run away from the one that was in the air. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Yeah, Kim, slow down and make sure you put your phones down. That's amazing that Absolutely. no one was hurt in that uh, crazy crash there. Crash there. Thank so you true. so much for the live report, Stephen. Yeah. Now,